you're welcome back to morning express now to continue our discussion on the program we're currently being joined by dr mrs regina omoagege who was a one-time director at INEC and currently the executive director women education advocacy and development initiative uh, she will be joining us in the studio to discuss uh, reflecting uh, the past of the country and also connecting uh, the future of Nigeria as Nigeria marks her 64th Independence Day anniversary. Hello and good morning to, and welcome to the studio, Ma. Thank you for having me. Happy Independence Day anniversary. I wish all of us same. Well, uh, it's a pleasure to have you in the studio. Um, firstly, the conversation that I had with our in-house analyst just a couple of uh, minutes ago has been quite a very tensed one, considering the news coming in uh, from newspaper headlines, you know, at a time when Nigeria is supposed to be celebrating almost seven decades of independence. It's been rather met by a lot of apprehension, a lot of threats, you know, people wanting to protest and all of that. How, how did we get to this point where something that used to be a joyful celebration, you know, while growing up and all, has now become a pain for most Nigerians? Oh, th thank you very much. Joining the, in that conversation, this is what I would tell you. Yes. The world is changing. Yes. Okay, maybe you know that I'm a pastor. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to be speaking to you from the spiritual angle, because everything I do or say, and the way I see society, I see it from the biblical angle. Yes. Because many things have been told us in the Bible that were going to happen in the future, even before you and I were born, even before your parents, your grandparents, great grandparents were born. And we are seeing them happening. So that's number one. Number one, it has been predicted that it shall be so. Remember that God said he knows the end from the, the beginning. beginning. So, having that in mind, human beings are evolving in different forms. Today, we have so many human beings that are not full human beings. They, 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 they match with animals. So, they don't carry the original DNA of a proper human being as God intended it. Because after creating man, God said he regretted creating man because the heart of man is desperately wicked. You can imagine a man speak, sleeping with a beast. What do you expect the product to be? You can imagine a man mixing with a beast. What do you expect the product to be? You can imagine a country as rich and endowed as Nigeria looking up to western countries who say that everything god says is good is bad what do you expect the result to be chaos it kills people get frustrated people say things they are not supposed to say because they are not seeing the positive side of nigeria they are refusing to be nationalists they they they, 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 they prefer to belong to the negative and mind you Nigeria is a rumor society. Nigeria is a society where people don't find out things. Nigeria is a society where you just say something and it flies. People don't care to find out what the truth is. How did this happen? I can bet you, if you get out of this your office now, and you mistakenly see two or three people running, then they come, then they come. You will run after them. Without finding out what the why they are running. Yes. At the end of the day, nothing is happening. Maybe they are even playing. <laughs> Maybe they are a group of friends playing. And they say, oh, then they come, then they come. So our society has gone bad because of our thinking. We don't have a trust society. We have a negative thinking society. We have citizens that are not patriotic. We also have, in quotes, some bad leaders. So that is that for now. Well, well, you have lived for quite some time to mm -hmm. to have experienced what many people believe was the glory days of Nigeria. Yeah. Now, reflecting on this particular past glory days, yeah. how would you say a lot of things have changed from then 
to now, back when things were good? Okay, I, I am a, I'm a very proud Nigerian. I benefited a lot from Nigeria. Nigeria trained me. I, I tell people every time that I am 100% made in Nigeria because I schooled in Nigeria and by the grace of God, I don't think there is any country I can go and I will not be able to meet up with any standard because I was properly trained by my country and I was a good citizen. And if I want to, I want to take you down memory lane okay. a little and I want to digress a little. Okay. In those days when we were in school, we didn't pay school fees. We ate free food. Most of the food they gave us in school were better than the food we ate in our parents' home. And then suddenly, students would go on strike. They would start destroying government properties. How do you see that? Does it sound fair? A government that is training you, giving you everything free of charge. Why won't you express yourself by going on peaceful demonstration you keep destroying government properties then they have to build that property again which costs you, money which costs money then of course the money reduces so they don't have much for you again i want to believe that is why school fees was introduced because in our days we didn't pay fees they even gave us bus fees they gave us money we we, we enjoyed ourselves we had in fact, you go to the dining hall to eat, there is pepperless, there is food without pepper, mm -hmm. and there is food with pepper, there is veg vegetable, there is a variety. Food. Variety. Our popular dishes were all on ground for us. But we were obedient students. Remember our generation, that we are the born, 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 born generation. Boom, boomers. Boomer we generation. are the boomers. Yes. And we are different from the millennial. We are different from the Gen Z. Yes. So there is a culture. There is a thinking culture. And the churches have not helped either by wanting to teach you that you could be rich without working. You see, pastors going on the pulpit to preach heresy to people to hear. And people today, they, they, they adore their pastors. They see them as God. So there is complete breakdown of law and order. But, but, but where, where, where do you think we mm. got it wrong because you experienced mm. nigeria in its beautiful glory yes and now the country isn't really much to write home about especially if you talk about the issue of insecurity mm. education mm -hmm. i mean in the news this morning asu was threatening to go on another strike mm -hmm. nlc is always on the neck of the federal government for mm -hmm. one thing or the other mm -hmm. why did we miss it how did we become so problematic as a nation okay uh, i will start by telling you that my country nigeria is not messed up my country nigeria is a good country we have citizens that have messed themselves up by in importing negative ideas and trying to want to implement implement it in our society i am not part of ASU, but i believe that any organization if you have demands and you are agitating for them and they are not met you should go on strike but a constant strike by, by ASU does not make it right why will ASU always go on strike they can negotiate it is the is the height of tertiary learning institution. institutions yes. and they should lead us by example and not going on consistent strike i mean they have a right to their demands and i believe that government should take care of them but this consistent demand uh, strike I, I don't support it i don't support it yes. uh -huh. i don't support it because they equally have children and they're giving them this kind of setback it's not what we are looking for We're talking about insecurity we are secure in the world. The whole world is suffering insecurity. Tell me, if you can tell me of a country that does not have security problems, then I can continue with that, with the conversation with you in that line. But I know, I read, I read so much, and I listen to news, and I know that the whole world is in tumor. And based on my biblical background and understanding, I know the tumor has just, has just started. Yes. So the insecurity is everywhere. 
Is it America you want to say they don't have insecurity? Because that has been your standard. Because they do this for their citizens, they do this for their citizens. Have you been to America? People sleep on the streets, on the streets. Homeless people everywhere. Homeless people everywhere. So the country is in a tumor. The whole world is in a tumor. There is no country that is free from these vices. It is either one form of vice or the other. Just, you don't like the one happening in your country. Yes. Yes, because it is your country. You love your country. You don't want it to happen to your country. But by the time you go to these other countries that you look at as a standard, oh my God, you are... Uh, at times, I don't want to visit them. Due to the vices that are the inherent The vices are there. too many. Too many. Show me one country. Mention one country that does not have security challenges. But if you can tell me, then I join your discussion I, with you. I, I, I mean, that certainly there, there are countries of the world mm. everywhere with security challenges. All of them. However, in, in mm. the case of Nigeria particularly, mm. Mm. what most people are concerned about is the rather slow pace of the government alongside mm. security agencies mm. in curtailing these insurgencies okay. especially the the boko haram insurgency in the mm. north in the northeastern part of the country mm. the banditry and kidnapping in mm. the northwest mm. these are just a handful of of hoodlums or mm. or, 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 or terrorists mm. you know holding an entire state or an entire region to at ran to ransom mm. yet it appears as if the armed forces or security agencies are playing with them with uh, baby gloves, are treating them with baby gloves. I'm happy you said, uh, there's a statement you, you, you made that I, I, I can't recall it, but uh, I want to tell you this. Insecurity is everywhere. Yes. Israel, which we all see that is a, a chosen country. It's currently but, at war. Good. They live under constant insecurity. I want to make an analogy between our country, Nigeria, the insecurity we are having, the slow pace of the security forces, as you have said, and the father and a child. A child who has gone with a wire, the child does not obey rules, insulting parents, misbehaving causing heartache for the parents. Oh. The parents are usually very, very patient and very prayerful to bring their child back, back home. Back home. That is why we are in Nigeria. We have to be patient. We have to pray for Nigeria to be the Nigeria that we want. Not necessarily the Nigeria we had before. We pray for our country to be better every day. And if you look at our attitude, we are not helping matters. In, in what way? So many ways. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. One, we left agriculture. Oh. I don't see why every Nigerian should not have a garden behind their house. Where you want to cook, you can go and pluck okra, pluck tomatoes. Or ogu. Pluck or or, 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 or ogu. I don't see why we should neglect agriculture. That's number one. Number two, I don't see why we cannot be patriotic. It's very key. Because for a society to grow, you need patriotic citizens. Number three, why are we not proud of our country? Why? What has the country done to us that makes us hate the country so much? For any little thing we want to strike, we want to demonstrate. I mean, what has it ever given us? I mean, there's a, there's a protest currently going on today. Fine, okay. Why are they protesting? Well, according to them, it's due to the hardship in the country. Just oh. the way they protested about uh, uh, okay. two, two months ago, back in August. Hardship has a definition. Yes. And the, the definition for hardship that I am seeing around is people who are lazy. For those that are not lazy, there is no hardship. There are many youngest plaiting hair all over the place. They make money. There are people selling akara. They make money. They train their children with it. They sell puff puff. There are so many things to do in Nigeria to make money. Nigerians are full of blaming government. Who is government? Are we not all government? Take example of the civil service. 
They're supposed to resume work at 7 30, 8 30. You go to work at 11 and you want increase in your pay. Have you really worked for the pay? Certainly not. Certainly not. So, why will you go and strike? You are asking for minimum wage of one ambiguous amount, whereas you are not putting in the, the work you are supposed to put in. Where is the productivity from you? Government is just a fool sitting down that should be bombarded at any time, that should be slapped at any time. We are not saying that some of these governments are good, but we should give them some kudos. It's not easy. It's not easy to lead Nigerians because of their way of thinking, because they are not patriotic. The, the worst thing that can happen to you is to stay in a country where people are not patriotic. They forget agriculture. They don't want to work. No, no, they just want easy money. On, on the issue of agriculture that yes. you touched on, you mentioned that you don't see any reason why people shouldn't have gardens in their backyard. Yeah. You know, like like you, they, yes. they used to do. That the they past. used to do in those yes. days. Now, let's also focus this uh, particular telescope on the government in mm. terms of agriculture. Mm. Yes, people should have backyard gardens. Mm. But what happened to the years of the granite pyramids, which mm. were a huge driving force in the economy as at then. Oil came came by. Cocoa. Cocoa, you know, and all of that. Cotton. And cotton. And, and it's as if attention shifted from agriculture to the oil and gas industry. You answer the question. You how just, you how, just how answer the question you're how did, we, to how did we get it wrong? And how can we get back to you, agriculture in that Because we were carried away by the too much money we were making from oil. But now that it is so clear that things have gone this way, we should go back. We should go back to agriculture. And I think the present government is advocating for it. We should go back to agriculture. You see, you, 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 you are poor when you decide to be poor. You, you see, the, the, the topic for, the, for this discussion is a very macro topic, topic yes. that you cannot finish in one day, exactly. that you cannot finish in one session. You have to really sit down and think of Nigeria as a country, think of Nigeria as its, its citizens, think of Nigeria as the government, and think of Nigeria as the influence coming from outside the country. People just wanting to take our country to, from us yes. by selling us bad ideas about our government, and then we're falling for, for this cheap what do they really have to offer us of, of ours? If we come together as a country, we are a strong force. Yes. Nigerians are not lazy people. Nigerians are not lazy at all. Nigerians have brains. Anywhere they go, they excel. Why do they excel when they go out and when they are home? They, they, they so, some people have argued that Nigerians are are resilient, not really in a good way. They are resilient. No, 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 I, want no. to, I want to agree to that. Yes, they are resilient, not really because they want to be resilient, mm. but because perhaps mm. the country has left them with no other choice than to just push through the hardship that they're currently facing. I know you have refuted these claims of hardship and, you know, relegated it to people who you term as lazy. Mm. But how do we ensure that the resilience of Nigerians mm. is complemented by some sort of soft life offered them by the government. I want to give you an analogy. analogy. When you go, up, go about in the street, yes. you see a lot of beggars. Physically, they are okay. Nothing is wrong with them. Yes. But they opt to beg. Then again, if you go to some areas, yes. you see some handicaps. They are engaged in trades. Many of them are shoe repairers. I always prefer to take my shoe to them because these are people who are handicapped and are still wanting to make a living for themselves. Yes, Yes, you see the able-bodied that don't have any physical deformity wanting to beg, crying, Nigeria is not good. I, 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 I want to believe that if you sit down and think very well, you will know that those able-bodied men and women yes. who are begging, they are just a nuisance, right? Mm -hmm. When you, 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 the pride of your country is the pride of the citizens. Yes. Yes, my country is poor. I'm proud of my country. And I want to put in something to make it better. better. 
We are Ghana today. There was a time they were here. Mm -hmm. There was a time we said they must go. Which brought about the slogan, Ghana must Ghana go. Ghana must go, but they are doing well. It has become a, a, a holiday hub. Even for Nigerians. Even for Nigerians. You see? So we can come together and say that this country must be good. Because I don't like people referring to government as only people in power. I, I like people defining as government as the people elected and those they are governing. Yes, the governed and, and the governors. Uh -huh. You know, we have not delved into politics. We have not talked about political behavior. Uh, you know that most of the things that are happening to us today are caused by some politicians. Not all. So we still have good politicians. A, a handful of uh, miscreants in the system. Thank you. You've just de you've just described them. Who don't think of tomorrow? Who want to steal? They go into politics because of stealing. Because of that, some decent people don't want to go into politics. Yes. So because I I will come with my Christian background again. It's just, certainly. Because certainly. as you age in life, you should think of returning home. And you cannot return home when you are involved in all these vices. You can only return home when you look at the book that God has give, given you, the handbook. You look, at, you, you look at the ancient words. You try to practice them. This is the way God wants me to go. This is the way I should go. I mean, I don't know your age, but the way you behave and reason today certainly is different from the way you behaved and uh, reasoned. Uh, reasoned about 10 years ago. Most definitely. As age comes, you begin to know God better, you fear God better, but for some people, the more they grow, the more they want to go with the devil. So you see, it is a choice. And the devil, because he's working so hard to take so many people with him, is full of destruction, and that is why you see destruction all over the place. All over the place. People like to walk. If there is hardship, what do you do? You walk. You walk. And you will eat. But when you are shouting, there's hardship, there's hardship, there's hardship, and you don't want to walk. So who, 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 who is that for? It's you. You are the lazy one. Have you taken time to go around town and see some young men doing businesses to put food on the table? There is a joint I know as an Akara joint. People go there, buy Akara and pap. Those boys sell nothing less than one million naira every day. They are hardworking boys. I'm proud of them. They are proud Nigerians. No matter what is happening in my country, I have to work. I have to eat. I don't have to look up to government. Besides, these countries that you are looking at, at models, is it government that drives everything? Certainly not. I mean, well, I mean the private, the, the, there's, there's, there's room for the private the sector the to private also sector. drive the economy. Good. And they, they generate a lot of money through taxes. But if Nigeria attempts to generate anything through tax, you want to revolt. Because we are Nigerians and we have oil, the government must not tax anybody. Just like the recent clamor by, by citizens mm -hmm. against a possible increment of VAT to 10% by the Thank government. You. Thank you. How does government drive most of these projects? Through taxes. Taxation. People don't pay tax. They evade it. But in the countries you are using as your standard, you dare not evade tax. There, now, there are stringent consequences Thank attached you. to that. Thank you. So before we can say our country has done this, our country has done this. You have to look at what is happening outside. Those countries that you are looking at as if they are the best. Yes. I think my country is good. Now, now, now in, in just about uh, two minutes, we have uh, less than three minutes to wrap up this conversation. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the work you do at uh, the Women Education Advocacy and uh, Development Initiative. Just as it goes, yes. women education, we educate women. Advocacy, we ad ad advocate for them, and we, we, we teach them initiatives, we tell them what to do, we guide them, we, 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 we advocate for them. If we need to do outreaches, we do outreaches for them.
All it's right. struggle for women. All right. And, and finally, what would be your message of goodwill to Nigerians? The elite at the top, the masses at the bottom, and every well-meaning Nigerian who is patriotic and wants to see Nigeria grow and become better in the future. Well, first of all, my first message is to the politicians. They should, they should change their styles. They, 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 should, they, they should politic well. Those in the National Assembly, they should make rules that are good for the poor, not necessarily rules that, not laws that will uplift them. That is, they represent people, so they should represent them well. And for Nigerians, let us be patriotic. We have a great country. God gave us a great country. Let's make Nigeria great. Greater than what we think it used to be. Nigeria is great, and Nigerian can be great again. All right. I must uh, thank you so much, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. And Mrs. Regina Mwagege, for so finding the time to come to the studio. It's been a very mm -hmm. informative uh, uh, discussion <laughs> here. And I believe, just like myself, a lot of Nigerians listening to you right now have been relieved about the state of the nation and are certainly looking at the country from a brighter angle. We should, we should see our country from a very positive perspective and what we can do to help the country. I think it will help us. All right, Rather certainly. than always shout that the country is this, the country is that. I don't think it's fair. The citizens should rise, or rise up and we should be patriotic. All right, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Well, that has been uh, Dr. Mrs. Regina Omoagege, who is uh, the director, executive director, Women Education Advocacy and Development uh, Initiative. And no throwaway words could have been said. Let us always look at our country from a positive perspective and work together, all hands on deck, to ensure that we better our country for ourselves and by ourselves.